In this section, we will look at the different photovoltaic modes and how they can be configured from the application in the V2C Cloud Platform. First of all, we explain the solar charging modes. First, photovoltaic plus minimum power. The charger gives priority to charging with a solar surplus and if it's insufficient, it will charge at the contracted minimum power. Exclusive photovoltaic, the car is recharged only with the surplus generated by the photovoltaic system. The surplus will be at least 1.5 kilowatts. If the photovoltaic power is insufficient, charging will stop. Grid plus photovoltaic, this model also known as maximum power, so each charger will supply all the available photovoltaic power plus the subscribed power, enabling maximum charging speed to be reached. It should be noted that before configuring the photovoltaic load in the V2C application or the V2C cloud platform, it's necessary to install and configure the dynamic power control, assessing the configuration of the load point. The dynamic power control must be activated, selecting the type of inverter or meter, and this type of installation in which the photovoltaic installation option must be selected, in addition to single phase or three phase. Next. In the configure dynamic power section, the maximum and minimum charging intensity is configured. Next, select configure system power to determine the preferred photovoltaic charging mode, with the option of customizing the modes in different time slots. Finally, photovoltaic charging modes can be configured from the V2C Cloud platform in the same way as in the mobile application.